Hey, welcome back for another gas video. Um, today we're taking a look at a spiritual sequel to uh, a previous clover puzzle, Zipper Lines. Now, Zipper Lines are a relatively new invention, so I'm going to take a minute to actually run you all through it. So, normal Sudoku rules apply, that is, digits 1 to 9 go in each row, column, and 3 by 3 box. Now, there are some lines in the grid, each of which has an odd length. Like that. So, the digit in the exact center represents a sum, and each pair of cells the same distance from that sum, uh, sum to the value in the center. So, let's let's actually look at this, because this is where I'm going to start this puzzle. Um, so, in here, we have three. Now, both of these must sum to three, and both of these must sum to three. Now, there's only one way you make two digits equal to three in a Sudoku, so that's one and two. Now, because we have a one and a two there, this has to be one. Now, you have one and two. One and two, that's how the zipper line works. Now, let's have a look at uh, this one here. Now, there are three ways that you can make uh, six in two digits. Uh, normally, if this was killer cages, um, we would say uh, that you didn't. You'd only have to. But we'll get to that once we get later through this puzzle. So. You could either do one and five, two and four, or three and three. So for this to be three and three, both of these digits would have to be three, but there's a three there, so I can't do that. Now, for one and five, one of these digits would have to be one, and one of them would have to be five, but because this one sees both one and five, can't be that. So this has to be four, and because it's not the same distance as the other end, that must be two. Now, uh, because that can't be 4 and 2 anymore, uh, just double checking, yep, it cannot be 4 and 2, it must be 5 and 1. So this is 5, this is 1. Let's come down to this 5 line now. So, 2 means that has to be 3. Now, uh, because I can't put a 2 on either end of that line now, this has to be, uh, 1 and 4. 4, 1. Ta-da! All right, now we get to the tricky one. So, I can't put one and two on either of those lines, which means I can never put six and seven there either. So, one of these has to be three, five, and the other one must be four and four. Four and four is, uh, that's the only way you can do it without breaking the almighty rules of Sudoku. Uh, five in row eight tells us it must be five and three this way around. Now, over here, five and three make eight. Uh, five and one, uh, five and one make uh, four and one make five. Now, this has to be two, three. Uh, we can do that because this two sees this one. So that's three. That's two. And this we do not quite know just yet. But one and two. Uh, yes. Oh, actually, that is incorrect. We do know what it is. So, uh, there are four ways to make eight, but three on a straight zipper line, one, uh, one, seven, two, six, or three, five. Now, it can't be three, five, because we've already got, got it on the line, and that would break Sudoku. So, this can't have one and two, so this must have six or seven at this end. Now, this is seen by a two, so how can that ever be six? So that means this is seven and one. Um, so, we are definitely going to use, uh, uh, some heavy pencil marking to get through the rest of this, but let's have a look at this, seven or eight, well, if five's on the other end, how can this be seven, because it sees two in the box, so therefore it must be eight and three, putting a seven there, um, seven, eight, nine in here. Now, we have uh, 6, 7, and 9 to put here. So, this is 6, 
six, nine, seven, and one. This can no longer be nine. Now, this, this is, uh, this one needs six, seven, and nine. This is six, putting a seven and nine here. Now, oh, what can we do? What can we do? Um, ba, ba, ba. all right, let's have a look about here. All right, so I need to put one, six, seven, and nine on this zipper line. This can't be one and seven, which means this is a one, seven pair, which we can instantly resolve. Now, six and nine go here. If I didn't know this was a six, uh, this had to be a six, I knew it couldn't be nine. And there's a very simple reason for that. Oh, it could be nine. Uh, what am I saying? <laughs> oh, right, it can't be nine because both of those would have to sum to whatever that digit is in the middle. And nine plus anything would be a number larger than you can put in a Sudoku. That's nine, that's six. Now, this is either seven, eight, or nine. Can't be nine. And this can't be seven because this can't be one. Otherwise, uh, six and uh, if this was seven, this would have to be six and one. So this is eight. This is eight. This is two. Now, if we go down here, let's have a look down here. Three, five, eight, and nine. That's a naked single. Five, eight. Using the same logic we had earlier, we can never put a nine here. So this is a nine. This is a three. Now, this is two, six, and nine. Not two, six, and nine. <sighs> so it's real silly goose hours. What up? Uh, so I know I, well, that three has done quite a bit of work. We cannot make this line double three. This has to be nine and then six. Making another six. And we are just into unwinding this puzzle now. So, um, I, I really like this constraint. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, one there, because of the seven, nine pair in the row. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm mentally like being like, hmm, I can do stuff with this. That's how you know it's a good constraint, where you, where you spot really cool, interesting things, and then you go, I like that. I, I can do something with that. I want to make something new. Um, I watched the, uh, documentary today on the uh art of dimension 20 the uh actual play show run by dropout formerly college humor and the thought on the creative process is everything goes on a cycle from this is awesome to this is hard to i am not great at this versus this is not great at this and then you get come back around to being this might be okay i am this is awesome and, you know, creating Sudoku is cool and fun, and I enjoy it greatly. But, you know, I also go through that, <laughs> a very similar creative process. Um, anyway, that's Zipper Lines by Clover. Uh, look, I hope you've had a uh, great day. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've got any comments, leave them down beneath in the comment section, but only if they're nice. Um, if you can't be kind, get out, and I will catch you on the flip side. Um, thanks, thanks for spending a few minutes of your day with me, and bye for now.